Right you guys, got another video here for you. This one's based on the West Yorkshire Police Department, which is a, a ransomware, which is fake obviously, and what they're trying to do is scare people into paying for something that they don't need to pay for. And as you can see, they're using pretty nasty word in here, i.e. Ch child pornography, sadomasochism and child abuse to try and frighten you into paying for something, you know. And uh, pretty much it is a scam, it is fake, and uh, there's a lot of people that fall for it. I'm going to show you how to remove this one, okay? Now this one does encrypt your files, and I'm going to show you how to decrypt those files and get your files back. Uh, Kaspersky have got a tool, and uh, some other uh, software companies have actually got tools to actually decrypt your files as well, okay? But we'll use the Kaspersky one. Now there's numerous ways of going about this, but we're going to be doing it through the command prompt in safe mode. Um, but if you have problems there, then you want to be using uh, Kaspersky Rescue CD to try and remove it using Windows Unlocker and then remove it from there in the registry tool that they've got built into that now, okay? So anyway, let's reboot the system into safe mode with command prompt and start the removal process. So I've been tapping F8 on the keyboard to get into the advanced boot options and I'm going to be coming down to safe mode with command prompt and we'll just let that load in. Okay, so we're at the uh, command prompt screen now and what we want to do here is go reg edit first off and we're going to open up the registry editor and as you can see we're at the right location there because I've removed it already but I'll just quickly show you where that location is we'll go back to the start of it okay so where you want to go is into H key current user you want to come down to there and then software yeah. then Microsoft then you want to come down to uh, Windows there and then current version then you'll see a box called run you want to click on that and there you can see the culprit so there we know it's now in the roaming folder and that's the actual folder name and there's the file so we know where to look for the actual file to delete so what I'm going to do here is delete this from the run menu we can now close this off there's nothing else left in there now we want to do explorer and this will open up the taskbar so we can get to the, the actual uh, desktop here. The first thing I want to do is go to the location of that file and users. Then this is my account, um, which is called test, but yours will be whatever yours is named, like your name. And then app data. Now if you can't see app data you need to show hidden files and you've seen me do that before. Go into organize uh, folder and search options and then into the view tab here and you'll see show hidden files and folders. By default it'll be there. You need to actually put the dot into there and I always take the tick out of hide extensions and then apply and OK. So once we're in there we're going to go into the roaming folder and there you can see the actual folder that was in that rum box and uh, there's the actual culprit there okay so we're just going to delete the whole folder with that file in it now I did say to you about some encrypted files and we're going to remove remove those now and get our files back and if you go into pictures you'll see a load of files that have been all locked okay and you would go into documents and you'll see all your documents this is a virtual box so there isn't much on here but you'll get the general idea they'll be pretty much looking like this okay now there is a tool that Kaspersky use and I'll show you that in a second what we're going to do first is reboot the system back to the desktop and uh, we'll remove and, and unlock these files so let's reboot the system into normal mode We'll just let this load up. Okay, now as you can see, we're back at the desktop now. It's going to give us full access to the computer. 
okay so let me show you the actual site it's a Kaspersky site and I will put the link in the description so you can download it it helps you to decrypt your files to get them back okay um, so this is the actual tool you use and you can download it from here but I will put the link in there for you okay so what we want to do okay let's quickly download this I'm going to paste the uh, link in there save that and that's in my downloads folder and there we are there so I'm just going to cut and paste this to my desktop so you can see what I'm doing okay so here's the tool that we're going to be using and these are the actual files okay so what we're going to do here is decrypt the files with this tool now this will do network drives and everything else so you need to make sure that you've got all those ticked and I'll show you how to do that so first off we need to click on this and click yes and then we want to go into change there and we want to make sure that we've got network drives because this will be encrypted as well and also um, you can also put delete encrypted files after decryption now if I show you the network drive here you'll see they've been encrypted as well so what we're going to do here now I'll just pull this down so you can see and I'm going to run this and it should start to decrypt the files and click start and that's the scan now finished and as you can see it found 153 now you may have a lot more because this is a virtual box you may have a lot more files and it will take some considerable time to decrypt them so we can look at the details now and um, you can see here the files that is uh, decrypted and any red ones like this um, you'll see there have been a, it's been an error there okay and you can also have a look at those so now we've done that we can now close that off and check our files it's going to go into downloads and there you can see they've all been decrypted gone back to normal inside your pictures they've all been decrypted and it's deleted the uh, encrypted ones okay and that's how you decrypt your files after being hit by this ransomware okay so i hope this helps you out my name is brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and show your support also rate and favorite my videos if you enjoy them and i'll be making more useful videos again in the future so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support bye for now